Dr. Karin Houstemans, radiotherapist at the Leuven University, will talk to us about which neoadjuvant chemotherapy regimen should be used in rectal cancer. Dr. Houstemans, could you tell us which regimen should be used for the very early and the non-resectable rectal tumors? For the very early stage tumors, first of all, it's very important that they are staged adequately. And so we need to use endoscopic ultrasound. And then if on endoscopic ultrasound it is shown that it is a very early stage tumor, meaning a T1, SM1 or SM2 tumor, then we can take these patients straight to local excision with a TEM procedure. If under pathological examination it is confirmed that it is an early stage tumor, then treatment is over and the patient should be followed. If, however, on the pathology examination the tumor is poorly differentiated or there is vascular invasion or there is SM3 or even more invasion into the submucosa, then these patients should be salvaged by TME surgery after the TEM procedure. And for the uh, non-resectable rectal tumors? Well, a non-resectable rectal tumor up front, that means that there is mesorectal fascia involvement or that there are positive lateral lymph nodes. These patients should be treated by preoperative chemo radiation. So that means a long course of radiotherapy combined with chemotherapy. After this treatment, there should be an interval of six to eight weeks, and then the tumor can be re-evaluated, and in most of the cases, it becomes resectable, and TME surgery should be performed. Okay. And the same question for the resectable tumors? Well, the resectable tumors, that's, that's more difficult. There we really need to individualize our treatment. It depends on where the tumor is located in the rectum. It's different whether it's a high-seated tumor compared to a low-seated tumor. Then we should also use MR. If the mesorectal fascia is not threatened and it is a high-seated tumor, maybe we don't need any preoperative treatment and we can take our patients straight to surgery. If there is invasion of the mesorectal fat for more than 5 millimeters, or if there are positive lymph nodes, even in high-seated tumors, it's probably wise to give them a short course of radiotherapy followed by immediate surgery. For the tumors that are located in the middle of the rectum, there we have the choice between short course pre-op radiotherapy or a long course of chemo radiotherapy followed by an interval followed by surgery. The low-seated tumors, in these tumors we have two problems. On one hand we have the sphincter and we would like to preserve the sphincter in as many patients as possible. On the other hand, there is a higher risk in low-seated tumors of having mesorectal fascia involvement. So most of the low-seated tumors will go for a long course of chemo radiotherapy with a long interval followed by surgery because we know that with a long course of chemo radiation and a long interval we have a very high chance of obtaining downsizing, downstaging which makes it easier for the surgeon to remove the tumor and to spare the sphincter. Okay. And um, what do you expect for the future for the um, treatment of these kind of tumors? I think in the future we will use much more functional imaging and with functional imaging I mean FDG PET-CT, diffusion weighted MR and we will do that before the start of treatment and then 10 fractions into treatment we will re-image and based on the response of the tumor to these first 10 fractions of chemo radiation we can then individualize treatment. And for those patients that respond well to treatment, we can maybe go to organ preservation strategies. And for those patients that do not respond well to treatment, we can look into treatment intensification in the hope that they also will obtain a good response after chemo radiation and can go for TME surgery afterwards. Okay. Is there anything else you would like to share with the followers? That this is a great conference and that we learn a lot here. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much for this interview.